growing up, um, I had a pretty normal life. Um, grew up with loving parents and a great family. Um, and then at a young age, some things occurred. I was sexually molested by a close family member and that kind of changed the game for me. Um, you know, it brought on a lot of self-worth issues and um, a lot of insecurity. So as I progressed through my middle school, junior high days, I got into a relationship with a, a boy that I probably shouldn't have gotten into a relationship to. And so we were together for six years and through that, um, I watched this boy turn into a man who slowly destroyed himself by drugs and abuse and not only himself but my myself as well um, i was mentally tore down and verbally tore down and um, just so many things that happened in that relationship that i completely devalued myself and um, i found myself 17 and pregnant and still in high school and um, you know i was an a plus student and, and involved in everything that you could imagine um, tons of friends and so for me that turned my world upside down and I was just trying to basically find my way through life and um, I remember um, celebrating New Year's Eve in 2008 and um, our house had been raided by the Drug Enforcement Agency and that was kind of a turning point for me realizing like this is not okay. A bunch of agencies had approached me about modeling for them and so I finally gave it a whirl. Um, and. I was traveling to Kansas City and Dallas and uh, Los Angeles, New York, um, basically all over the nation and, and modeling. And um, with that lifestyle becomes a lot of um, baggage, a lot of work. Um, and mind you, I was a mom, but I wasn't being a mom. I had left my daughter here with family members to take care of her, and, you know, just living my life for me. I was being very selfish. From that point, I was, I, at that point I was really lost. I was broken. I had just came out of a verbally, mentally abusive relationship and I just wanted to feel loved. And so, you know, I was on a high because I had signed this contract, this modeling contract and, you know, all of these magazines were wanting me and all these, I was walking these showcases and um, that really is an ego boost and an ego stroke and I was trying to fill this loneliness, this void um, with alcohol and friends and parties and um, so I ended up in a high profile relationship with a rising coll collegiate athlete and um, he had gone to the NFL and um, found out that I was four months pregnant with my oldest daughter or my youngest daughter and that was a turn of events for me because when I told him I found out that he had gotten another girl pregnant and um, that was kind of it for me. I came back home uh, to Joplin and decided that I was going to get my life together. I remember the prayer and I was like, God, I don't want my life anymore. If you want it so bad, you have it. And um, that was a huge prayer for me to pray and basically from that point forward, he has taken over my life. And, um, it's crazy the story of redemption that comes with that because God takes your ugliest, dirtiest things and, and literally uses that as fertilizer to grow you into the most beautiful thing. I'm glad that God has given me a second chance at life and that I um, am able to be redeemed and really just start a new um, chapter in my life and start fresh and be a, an example and a role model. I think right now my mission in life is just to help those young girls that are struggling and um, I have a special soft spot for that in my heart because I went through some of those things and I just want them to know how cherished and how loved and valued they are by God and they can put their minds to whatever they want and as long as they put themselves in the word of God and follow God, anything is possible. So I just want them to know that to not give up hope and I feel like that's what my calling is. I am Lauren Hall and this is me.